There are many ways to get things in Google Docs to your students so that they can have access to them. I'm going to show you two easy ways to do that. The first way is to use the template gallery. So let's say, for example, that I wanted my students to answer some questions. And I might create a document, something like this, that in previous years I might have printed out. But now, instead of printing it out, I'm just going to put it in the template gallery so that my students have access to it. Once I've created the document and I have it the way that I want it, I come back to my Google Docs homepage and I put a check mark next to it. And then I choose Actions and choose Submit to Template Gallery. I entered a description for my template. Select a category. Typically, we select planners for this. And then I press Submit Template. Once I've submitted that template to the template gallery, and sometimes it does take five or ten minutes for it to show up, when my students come to Google Docs, they click on the top here where it says Browse Template Gallery. and then they'll search for my template. So if I named mine sample template, I could just type in sample and press search and it would automatically come up. Once they find the template, they click on use this template. That automatically makes a copy for them. It will not change the, your original. It automatically makes a copy for them and puts it into their Google Docs. So if I clicked on this one here, use this template, it would automatically show up and now I have a copy of it. The first thing that I typically have students do is click on that and change it from copy of to whatever you want it named. Once they've done that, and they go back to their Google Docs homepage, for example, here's that sample template that I just opened, they can then drag it and drop it into the proper collection so that you can see their progress as they work on it. Remember, Google Docs is live editing. So as the students are typing, you can actually click on their assignment and see the progress that they're making. A second way to get things to students instead of using the template gallery would be to create the assignment or the document that you want them to see and then choose share and instead of trying to share with specific students because that can take a long time change it where it says private to where it says people at Fairview Park Schools with the link Make sure you leave it so they can just view. You don't want your students to edit your original. You just want them to view this. Press Save. It now gives you a, a link on top, and I can take and I can copy this link, and I can then paste that link to my blog, or onto Edmodo, or onto Moodle, or onto whatever site that I typically use with my students in class. Once the students open that, remember they're just able to view it. They will not be able to make changes to that. So all they would need to do is when they first open it, go to where it says File and make a copy. Once they make their own copy of your original, then they can start working on it and making changes. So it works very similar to the template gallery. Whenever you give them a link, as long as they choose file, make a copy first. 